Good morning, everyone. Welcome to my channel, the Doctor in Game channel. Um, over on Twitch, it's Grand Gaming Harvester. We're gonna change that here pretty soon, thankfully. Uh, they have updated, or they've. I've got about I think like twenty odd days left to go. Anyway, I can see Angel Case there. Thank you for joining. Um, I can see you're the first viewer. So, <laughs> good morning to you. Um, my uh, my now fiance. Uh, her and my mother are gonna be going out here in a little bit, so uh, I don't know if they're. They, I said I think they're gonna tune in, um, but of course they have plans. So, <laughs> regardless, I thought I would step outside of Outlast for a little while. Um, we're gonna try a few other games. Yesterday I tried this, and it was a complete disaster. Found out that it was because of my Steam client. Um, it's one of the issues I have. Uh, kind of mixed feelings about running cloud clients for software is that they can cause trouble. Uh, I mean, you buy these games, they should be able to run on your computer regardless of what the client software does. Uh, but Steam needed an update to some of its redistributables in the back end. And because it was attempting to do that when I was starting out with Ninth Kernel uh, yesterday, it caused conflict with the other games and eventually caused conflict with my streaming software and the whole thing just... <laughs> so... We got that figured out. The game started running again, thankfully, after I shut down the live and was doing some restarts and re-updates. I uh, made sure I got the updates done, So, um, and the games then seemed to be running fine. So um, I'm still not 100% sure about Abandoned Souls and what was going on there. I did figure out where the issue was in Adam Lost Memories, and uh, Alien Cube is running again. That was pretty cool. So we'll see how fast we can get through some of these. Um, plan to be on for a little while today. So let's get started. I'd like to check out Ninth Carnal Playtest again. Right, Angel? I, I do cross my fingers on that one, too. So let's flip it over. Let's get the game started, and then we'll flip over to our live scene. <clears throat> Did you have a good time with your husband? Oop. All right, there's something that I need to change real quick. I need to get the audio flipped over. There we go. Don't like a, a echoing effect through the desktop audio and the mic at the same time. That would mess with people. Hey, I hope you like the new overlay. I changed it up. Um, <laughs> I was kicking myself, right? Because remember how we talked about <clears throat> um, Ultra, Streamlabs Ultra, um, which thanks for you know using my code and signing up. Uh, put my desk and chair together and watched movies when he didn't have to go plow. <laughs> <clears throat> um, yeah, I thought... So I was... Oh, I need to change that. I noticed I got to change my... Every time I restart my computer, I don't know why this is, but the webcam source, it... Uh, and this is only, I don't know, it might just be me. You might find it out if you're doing Ultra and you're using the Streamlabs desktop software, but I assume you've been using that desktop software for a while. But um, I notice that every time I restart, the camera zoom resets, and I try and I have to, like, no, zoom completely out, do a regular, there we go. Um, so anyway, as I was saying, the, um, I like the overlay. It seemed more like a, a doctor's room. If, like, you move my uh, webcam out of there, that background looks kind of like a broken bones or a kneecap or something. So um, I thought it went really well with the whole doctor in game operating room sense. So, uh, however, as I was, we were talking about benefits of Ultra the other day. Um, one benefit of Ultra is a whole bunch of different overlays, right? So this overlay comes with Ultra. Um, I found the overlay I use in the Ultra. So originally I bought that overlay <laughs> and then I signed up. And so that's on me. All right, switch over to live scene. And I think they've done something with the desktop software or, I don't know, something happened when I installed this overlay specifically. Um, good morning, Polly, over on YouTube. I see I've got a couple over on YouTube, so good morning, everybody. Um, but with, the, uh, with this overlay install, I don't know if it's because it was installed through the Ultra service, it, uh, it improved my webcam issue. So, like... I had an issue before where, like you saw the intermission, and now we're on the live scene. When I would switch between the two, the um, my webcam would stay active on the intermission screen and not pull up on the live, and now it does no problem. So, um, <clears throat> okay. Oh, yeah, they turned back up my desktop audio. Okay. I may turn that back down to where it was. That could have been bad yesterday. And yesterday also, <laughs> Angel, I had... Uh, Claw, uh, Courtney over on YouTube, um, she was calling me out because my mic wasn't on, and yet it said it was. 
come to find out it swapped the source like it did to you that one time when we were trying to talk on discord so i don't know why it did it but yeah um okay i think i might have started the game just briefly once before so we're going to do a new game just to start i think i may start just to see save system is whip this game saves automatically when you reach a checkpoint now this is just a play test the game does that sound better now angel with the audio and my voice since we're trying to not talk while the <laughs> while that's going um <clears throat> but the uh the game it's just a play test it's not even out yet i saw it in a on another youtube channel that talks uh okay i can turn that down still more goodbye i'm turned down the actual I uh, see. I mean, it could be just the game, but we'll turn that out down a smidge more. And see what happens. Down now, negative nine decibels. <laughs> <clears throat> some games, I, they, you know, that's the problem. Like some games, their audio, it's just how they did the audio. It can be extremely loud or soft. Or... I don't think it's pulling off the volume of my uh, what I have set on the computer either. So. Streamlabs being a little funky over there, like the monitor bars for audio and that keep flickering on and off. And on and it gets a little funky. Whoa. Okay. Very sensitive when it comes to look. Uh, cut that down by about oh half. On epic texture quality, epic foliage quality. And yeah, that's a little better. Still really high. That again by half. Oop, by still, that is still unforgiving. <laughs> that's that's better. At least I'm not overly compensating. All right. <clears throat> Graphic nature looks really great. Man, this is all dark down there. I'm not sure what. I guess I can go that. No, it kind of blurred out. It's saying, Don't go that way. Hey, drummer man. Good morning. How's the job been? I assume you started. I know that you said that you didn't, you know, finalize it. I thought. That's crazy. Like a holographic world um door. Equip key, please equip the key to unlock. Was that the key back there? I couldn't take it, could I? Okay, we can run. I'm trying to jump. Oh, okay, so there's the key. I've got the key now. Oh, getting hung up on something in the hallway there, in the corridor. How do I equip the key? use. Please use the correct key. <laughs> okay. I thought there was a... Uh, I'm confused now. We came in from here, started here, and I still feel like that is really touchy. Now, I don't know if that really has much effect on it or not, because I mean, I can swing myself around with a just a flick of my wrist practically. Oh, wait. Now this is on. Okay. I guess this key has got to go in that, huh? Yeah, equip. Alright. Eat. Rope. Oh, it's screwing in the key. Alright, sounds like something opened up over here, but that could be... That may have been down inside. Alright, 
right, so for everyone who has joined us this morning, hi uh, Dang Freeze, how you doing? I'm so, ah! <laughs> okay, that was not there before. Uh, we are playing Ninth Carnal Playtest. This is a, I guess you call it a demo. I can't get past the body now, it's in my way. I'm guessing it had something to do with what was moving earlier. back and see if there's something else I can do with that. Nope, can't change that at all. I can't see anything over here. And as I just experienced a minute ago that once I got the key this light came on so I could actually come over in this area. Can't duck. Wait a minute. Can I click on something over here? No. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Can't, yeah, I tried to duck. Maybe I got the wrong control. Let's see what we got for controls here. Does it say anything for controls? Mm, no. I got a body up there in my way. I can't get past now. Me past you. <laughs> uh, that's messed up. No way to start a game. Oh, wait. Okay, no. We click. Oh, can I still press E? Nope. What about W? Can I power Q? Can I back it out? No. See if I can walk in here. Nope, I'm hitting a wall, it looks like. Can I jump up? No, can't jump. Because I'm pressing spacebar, nothing's happening, so I guess I can't go up. Well, you would think right here, I'm standing on top of a mound. Gotta get up there, I imagine. How do I get up? Take back the key, right? Nope. One's in, it's in. Keep fucking man for play test this sucks. <laughs> ah, there. Jeez. See? For a play test, I mean he should give you some sort of idea as to what your controls are. C for crouch. In case anybody wants to check out the play dust. <laughs> All right, equip. They just say equip. Doesn't say you know use tab for inventory. I'm just kind of pressing keys that I know tend to be you know controls in other games. Uh, usually I would use control or C. You know people have used C before for for crouching. We got no flashlight, or at least. F doesn't turn on flashlights. So I guess we're out of flashlight right now. The ninth carnal. I will do my best, Courtney, not to die. So, Dank, I know you're new. Um, I haven't seen before. Thanks for joining. But want to give a heads up, I do multi-stream. I'm on YouTube. Uh, YouTube, Twitch, Facebook. These are the three that primarily I do Facebook primarily just because, well, um, I like to get the, the vertical. <laughs> and since Facebook is more of a vertical app where people are looking on their phones, I tend to run it vertical over there. Hey, we finally got a flashlight and a little bit of a tutorial. You use it on and off, and it has battery life. Ugh. What do we got here? Nothing of any importance. Grandma's Rocker. Now, of course, this is a play test, so it's definitely not a fully fleshed out game. I'm sure they will make improvements before they actually release. You can see a bit of jump there when I was going over whatever this is.
Oh wow. Grandmama. When she was younger. When she was a young, beautiful lady. And her favorite owls and birds. <laughs> There's a channel out there, I'm trying to remember the name of it, um, but they specialize specifically in playing games, and those games being uh, no commentary, just the game itself, right? Epsilon Research Institute, dear Miss Charlotte, or Char uh, yeah, Charlotte, <clears throat> why did I say Charlotte? Charlotte, <laughs> the purpose of this letter is to inform you of my intention to resign from my position as senior geneticist, Department of Molecular Ecology at Epsilon Genome Research Institute, Effective two weeks from now on April 21st, 2024. Wow, we're coming up on that date, aren't we? Um, as my career goals have changed since I started working here, it feels like it's time for me to pursue my dream career that best reflects my current goals. I am grateful for the opportunities you provided me during my time at Epsilon. If you need any assistance as I transition out of my current role in the next two weeks, please let me know. As we move forward, I hope we can stay in touch. Thank you, Christopher Harrison. It would be hilarious if this was actually someone's attempt to turn in a resignation for their job, if this was an actual place, and they were making a video game, and one day was going to release it to their boss and say, please play this. <laughs> All right, so... Nope, no, 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 I wanted to see that. Uh, 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 there we go. <laughs> ID number 128, Department of Molecular Ecology. Di senior assistant something. Senior assistant. All right. That's some very interesting paintings in his home. Oh, I wouldn't know. Where would I find that? Uh. PhD and experience of 10 plus years are required. So this was like the job. That was the job, I guess. Man, that's right up in your face, ain't it? Experiments conducted, outcome received, success to rate 0.24. Now it looks like scribble on the wall, mathematics and science, uh, mathematics of sorts. All right, where would your password and username be? Wouldn't be on here, would it? Can't even hardly read that. Uh, no. See, Harrison might be my thought, you know, just because a lot of like, actual corporations run that way, but this is a video game. So I don't know what they would, you know, how they would set that. No, that's to access that. And I don't have a password and username yet, I don't think. Oh, we're down to 80% battery life already. <laughs> we're wasting that battery. Haven't anybody heard of, like, LED flashlights? I have some in my house. They're awesome. <clears throat> John Legend Power. Hey, hey, Peter, how you doing? Yeah, um, you know, that is a good question. Is password password. That would be funny. But again, I have to have, I have to know the username, right? So I mean, oops, no, it doesn't look like it. Oh no, e e to get out. Although I do, I am curious because a lot of defaults are admin and password. No, okay, had to try at least. <laughs> it is not. You would think maybe. Oh, no, that has to go back. Okay. I'm probably not going to have time then. Not today. We are all the same, are we? Ooh, puzzle. And I'm gonna guess this can be need to unlock the door. Okay.
I wonder how many of these doors are locked by that puzzle. All of them. <laughs> I, I kind of wonder what the backstory is. I obviously didn't get much backstory here to, to start the game off. Ooh. Tape. No. I have this motion blur here. It's kind of sickening. Nobody's eyes do that. <laughs> <clears throat> Unless they're maybe drunk. Even then, I can still see kind of like this blur effect. You see that around the light? It looks like almost like a double light. In fact, I have a light just like that. Just outside my door in my office that I use. And I've got a red bulb in it. And I flip it on so that my kids know I'm recording. So my family knows. Okay, there's that same symbol we saw earlier. I don't believe, again, I don't believe I need that symbol for everything. Nope. Well, it may be a short game. For playtests, I assume. You know, there's gotta be some things that we can get into. We're using that battery again. There's a tape I can't get in the boxes. Let's see what symbols we got. I see, I assume that there's some sort of pattern that has to take place. One, two, three, four, five. Hmm. <clears throat> Gotta open up a door somewhere. That looks like it's just a big cross, huh? Now, all those doors are locked down here. Is there something like painting wise? Feet at least. What does it say? 20SE7A uh, or SF7A? This is when I have to have like a lineup of music, right? And then we can play some music while we're. Which I did find out, uh, Angel, the, um, I did get the, the loyalty points in that figured out, so, um, you, everybody should be collecting them, whether or not that's, you know, an active feature, that's something else that, again, I have to, I have to figure out with, ooh, there's no drawer at the bottom, but there's drawers of stuff, but again, <laughs> <clears throat> Uh, yeah, see, it does show that you got the... Okay, cool. So we've got some... I got some commands to build and some things to work on, don't I? I don't know! <laughs> <clears throat> Where would I find his password and his username? Not like hidden in the scribble on there, is it? <laughs> hmm. Yeah, yeah. I got another game um, where actually the whole idea of it is that you've hacked into someone's computer. And so it comes up looking like a computer as the game. And... 
you find stuff that you probably wish you hadn't have found. It's an interesting concept, to say the least. It kind of comes up looking like a Windows 95 or 98 computer. Um, oh. My battery is about dead. I've wasted it just sitting here trying to figure this one out. Um, we can't go back out. We've already tried that. If I go approach the door, I can't head back out. It's one way in and that's it. You're stuck here. They've really made this a fun play test, haven't they? <laughs> Maybe it's elephant? But again, what would his username be? Even if I had the password as elephant. Hmm. I think it'd be something maybe in this room. We got different birds here. I can't click on any one of them. Can't light the candles. Can't flip around the freaking painting. <clears throat> Nothing in the drawers. Nothing I can interact on with on here. Can't use the sewing machine. Nothing on the back of the door, right? It's on the walls. Maybe it's gnome. Essentially, that's a packing tape thing, and it's like half in the table. Ah. Nothing. Maybe I need to crouch in the office. I'll find something. Look underneath things. Oh, not that again. Or not. What does this say? It gives me his name. That's it. And of course you have this, so I don't, maybe I type out his whole name. But again, what would the password be then? Senior assistant ID number, let's say 128. They don't make it easy to read this thing, that's for sure. <laughs> I can't even get it to stay still. Uh, Looks like 128. I don't know if his ID number would be the password. You would think it would be that simple, but. Uh, let's see here, Christopher Harrison, one, two, eight, nope, nope, Epsilon, nope, Elephant, <laughs> nope, okay, <clears throat> One last try at something here. Admin, admin. I've seen that done before. Nope. All right. Well, I've tried everything I can possibly think of without trying to figure out. Oh, we've killed the battery on this thing. Now, too. We have no battery. This was fun. <laughs> About as fun as a barrel full of monkeys, I think. We are all the same. All the same. All, okay, so you're all the same. Whoops. Nice. So, was I supposed to not turn those to begin with? I don't know what the first row was, honestly. Nope. No, whoops, turn that back. Oh, there was a blank one. That's a blank one. I 
don't know if that'll work. Because we are all the same. So I assume... Okay, so the circle doesn't work there. Um, triple X on all of them? If it's all the same... Did I finally get a, a hint that made sense? They're all the same. Ah! <laughs> Username, Mojik, Mojik, Mo Modegic. There's a password on the back. I want the password. <laughs> I got a marker. Oh, now we got the username. What's the password? Is it Sarah? I think it's Sarah. I bet it's Sarah. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Okay. That was creepy. Slow, big thing walking. Let's try Sarah. No, not Sarah. Are you sure it's not Sarah? <laughs> Maybe it's got to be in all caps. Let's try all caps. Nope, okay. Definitely not that. Oh, I took a screenshot by accident. All right. I don't want to go down the hallway now because I saw something walking that way. Can I peek around? No, I can't. Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay. And I've got no freaking flash. Oh, we got a flashlight. I was like, where's my flashlight? I don't, I don't like this one bit. <laughs> Not fair. <laughs> Told you I didn't like it. <laughs> I think they need some pills. They're, they're experiencing psychosis. I can't read the pill bottles. I can look at them. What's the point of looking at them if I can't read them? Soap. Yeah, that... that okay. <laughs> and that should say toilet paper on it, huh? <clears throat> let's identify what these things are. Toothbrush. All right. Come on, let's move on. Ah... Uh, Okay. Creepy drawings of it from a kid, I assume. Or maybe it's from an adult, but it, that looks like a kid's dish. Please don't tell me they were awkward. They were, like, doing things on kids. Uh, that's a bowl of worms and maggots. It would be better if they were moving. Maybe those are spaghetti. Maybe it's just spaghetti and some rice. I don't know. Looks like worms and maggots to me. Uh, into the dark area. <laughs> not, they're gonna throw everything at me, aren't they? <clears throat> Bodies just come walking at me, crawling. I just need to be. I need to expect that. I need to just toughen up here. Toughen up. <laughs> okay, pick up the marker. Uh, oh, oh no, those are batteries. Okay. I thought they were markers, but they're batteries. All right. Not that it doesn't mean any good. Every time I walk in, something is coming, creeping on me. Uh. <laughs> more batteries. Give me more batteries. I'm down to 30%. Another battery. Yay. Looks like a marker, though, don't it? That's a pretty damn big battery. Maybe it's a lithium battery. Should have better charge then. Yeah, you enjoying that? Ain't <laughs> Those little jumps. <clears throat> Not even little. I'm. It's the, it's the it's the utter quiet of the game. Like I mean, at least other games. Um, and this could be just because it's in playtest, but other games, you'll have like sound changes, and you can expect something's gonna be coming. No, I think this is actually better. Uh, honestly, just the utter quiet. <laughs> <clears throat> And I wonder to myself, if I was in this situation, would I probably be just sitting there talking to myself the whole time, muttering? Probably. We don't want to be here. And that's what I was talking about earlier, is that... Okay. I can't get in. The, um, the one channel 
that does solely gameplay, absolute silence. They just play the game. So it's uh, no commentary gameplay. You know, as a live, that's one thing. I get it. You know, it's not as natural. But as recording, like if I was just playing the game, talking to myself, wouldn't you think that, I mean, you're acting as the person in the game. You're playing along. Now, just don't make commentary on the game, right? And just act it out like as if you're a person actually in the shoes of these people exploring. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, we have more battery life. We would have more battery life if it wasn't for the fact that it took us so long to figure out, oh, we're all the same. Yeah, equip the tape. Okay, gotcha. And then we get a playback of the seat. Necronomicon. So, what is your name? Thank you. I am Christopher Harris. For Harrison. those who know... Hello, Christopher. Uh, the Please evil tell dead. me about your field of research. I'm a genetic engineer. I work for Epsilon Research Institute. I have contributed to over 10 global research projects with a highly knowledgeable and skilled team. We have done extensive research on genetic formulation at the Epsilon Research Lab, through which we have successfully created various new transplantation of cells, tissues, or whole organs from artificially modified animals and plants. Have you submitted your papers to the board? Yes. Okay. Well, we do have a copy of your paper, and we have looked upon it quite extensively. And do I say this? The nature of your project is quite sensitive, especially the type of resources you have used for your research, but also the level of modifications you have committed to them before transplantation. Did you guys receive a valid permit before conducting it? Yes, our team did. Did you? Okay, let's go with it. We'll forward your paper. Our panel will notify you when the next circular begins. Okay. Oh, 1914. I don't remember that light being on just a second ago. Or flashing like that. Steal yourself. Because <laughs> you don't know what's coming. Oh, man. Okay, TVs are off. I assume at some point those TVs are going to start popping on. Okay, I can't get through the door yet. I can't sit here. 1914. I wonder if that's the password. Maybe that's the password. Let's go find out. That's a colorful looking chair. If I don't crap myself on the way back with something jumping out. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I took a wrong turn, didn't I? Going. Okay, go straight. Oh, come on, let me out. <laughs> I didn't do anything to you guys. I just stepped foot on your property, probably trespassing. I get it. Ah, oh, shit. I got 40% battery. Is it this door? No, nope, that door's locked. We were just down here, right? Back and forth, we'll figure it out. Trigger an event. Down to 35% battery. Oh shit. <laughs> we got this. I've been down this way. Can't open the doors. want me to do? Are you there? Speak to me if you're here. <laughs> I know this is not demonologist or, you know, phasmophobia, but still. <clears throat> At this point, I'll take anything I can get. Angel, are you going to be doing a live today? Well, we already equipped the tape. I'm running out of battery, just running around in circles again. Are you guys... You guys didn't open that? Huh. 
I don't know what y'all want from me. Ten percent battery. I think you're deliberately trying to run out my batteries. What you're trying to do? Fine. I'm walking around without a flashlight on because I have to. Something it said 1914. Oh, the clock's missing its hands and it's not ticking. I, th I feel like there's something in that room I'm supposed to be doing. You know, I can't go into any of the rooms. Music, at least we knew something was coming this time. Can't click on this door at all. Oh, I even have hands and a body. I'm gonna check that out. I haven't. I, I know that you post a video on YouTube. But I didn't get much chance to watch it on YouTube. But I'll check out live. Check out Icarus today. I think that one looks like it's an interesting game. Okay, seriously, what am I to be doing, guys? Come on. Oh, and we're out of battery. So I mean, honestly, now we're just f. Sit in the chair? No. I played the tape. It didn't like, uh, as soon as I tried to leave, it didn't like that. And now I can't see anything. in here. I must have overlooked something that was going to be useful. Something I had to bring with me, maybe. Flashlight, I can't see anything. And everything I've clicked on can't do a thing about. No inventory. Without flashlight, I can't see if there's something I'm missing in the corners, but I, mean, I didn't see anything earlier. So this was a fun game, everyone. <laughs> I think we will uh, have to revisit this one another time. And we are going to return back to Adam Lost Memories that we were playing yesterday. So give me one second. I'm going to switch over to intermission for a minute. <clears throat> we're going to change a couple settings real fast, and then we'll be back to the game. At least I got it running today. Yesterday it wouldn't even start. Yesterday when I started, it, that's when all hell broke loose. They had me... Um, I had set up, it started installing Microsoft Redistributables and it started causing issues, so. 
Let's change from Ninth Carnal to Adam Lost Memories. Hey, how do you like the na the name of my mod there, Angel? <laughs> I figured it fit. Yeah, we started this one yesterday and we got stuck and I realized where my mistake was. I was playing Abandoned Souls. In Abandoned Souls, you can't jump, but in Adam Lost Memories, you can. And that's where I made my mistake. So I ended up actually getting a little bit further ahead in the game um, just because I wanted to play test to see where, you know, I might have had issues. So we got a little bit further ahead than where we left off yesterday. So yesterday I was talking about this game because this game was made by a developer who uh, there's another game out there I had that's very similar, but uh, I've noticed some developers are making horror games to express their um, mental illnesses or physical abuses and mental abuses that they went through in their life. And this developer particularly made this game to try to express and help others to understand um, the mental and physical abuse that he suffered as a child. Um, you know, when you're supposed to rely on your um, on your caregivers and so uh, this is kind of his artistic expression of that <clears throat> why won't it switch switch for me switch okay locked down there's a Things. We have a jawbone, a box of nails, a wrench. It won't open. Looks like we need pipe to connect, maybe? Ah. Yeah. Ah, there's one. Where's the rest of the pipe? It's gotta be in here, right? Slowly, we'll find it, we'll find it. And that's something else, um, Angel, over on uh, with the Ultra Membership, you can set up your own mod with a mod name. You have to set up a separate YouTube account, and then you can set up, um, oh, there it is, behind, okay. And then, oh, not YouTube, it's a separate Twitch account, my apologies. Uh, a separate Twitch account for mods. So you have, with your Twitch account, I don't know if you knew this, but you can set up multiple accounts um, and tie them to the same phone number. You have to go into your main account and then you have to set up saying, okay, um, you know, this account um, can be, can set up other accounts with the same number or email. Uh, it's a setting under privacy. And then you can add another account with that same email or password. Um, of course, I have two-factor authentication online, so people they can't just start, you know, adding accounts underneath my name. Um, but you could set up another account and call it, you know, give it a name that would be what you want your moderator to be called, and then go over to uh, Streamlabs and tie that to it. There it is. I was like, it's got to be right here somewhere. Now I think we can turn it on. There we go. Now we should go get out. Oh, you did that. Okay. <laughs> oh, far be it from me to share. <laughs> I added you as a regular Kate on here, uh, as well as I'd added the claws, my regular. Uh, I found that the moderation I had set up, because I did set up so I, if you type in all caps, it would time me out, and I didn't have the claw set up as a regular. Uh, did you see that thing move over there? I saw it move. Uh, <laughs> and I, uh, she typed in all caps, and it ended up timing her out for you know, 300 seconds or so.
Oops. Alright. I don't know where I'm supposed to be going. Yeah, you're welcome. Can we go this way with that? No, there's not going to go past the steam. At least not yet. We don't get damage, but it's not going to let me pass it. Oh, wait. Look at my screen. Do you see that top? Looks like I did get damaged. Interesting. What if I would have died had I stayed there? The damage is healing. So you lose mental state. You start to get like a psychosis in here. Oh, yeah. This looks like it's a morgue. <laughs> Biohazard. Ah, we need that. Um, so you lose a mental state in this game. And as you solve pu uh, puzzles, it'll repair your mental state. But if you don't, the more your mental state goes, the more these things can find you. Some sort of thing can find you. No flashlight. I don't trust dark spaces. <laughs> Not after the last game we played. Don't trust dark spaces. Alright, there's gotta be some place for me to hook up the valve handle. I assume it's back where it was with all the steam. see a spot for the handle up there. Oof, that's a lot of steam. So we're already in that room. So this is like a science station of sorts. And I think what I kind of get the feeling of is it plays on uh, kind of like PTSD. So as you progress in the game, certain um, areas in the game trigger memories from those childhood. Oh, jeez. Oh. Okay. Can't go back any further than that. That's good to know. It's just a dark corner. don't man I must really suck at puzzle games <laughs> <clears throat> my dog's trying to get my office my family's headed out and the dog wants to say, see him off so she loves to come into my office to look out the window can't use this here can't I can't attach this large hand wheel to a valve. Yes, I get that. But where's the valve? To shut off that steam. I don't see a valve on here. Oh, but I am taking a hit. You can see it. Can I get in here somehow? Oh, wait. Let's see if I can duck down. Nope, I can't get past by ducking. We're just taking a bunch of damage. Hello? Where would you be, Val? Hmm. Wait a minute. I don't think we've been in here, have we? Aha! <clears throat> the valve is falling off. I still need to do something. I think I know what that is. There we go. I'm glad I brought the wrench. When I was reading someone's tutorial, they had to completely ignore the wrench. Oh my gosh! What the fuck? Oh my gosh! What am I supposed to do with that thing following me about? Um. Okay. 
Just run away. Run away. <clears throat> Good evening again, Drone Man. I know it's evening. Thanks for returning. Perhaps you're kindly listening as you're going to sleep. I hope I don't scream. Holler too much. <laughs> <clears throat> That thing found me. I don't know what that thing is, but that thing found me. Thanks for the heads up, Courtney. I love y'all too. See y'all soon. All right. Like I said, the family's headed out, so. We ran across this earlier. So I don't know if there's so much in danger of anything in this game, or if it's just going to be kind of creepy. Oh, my dog just kicked at my door again. She's wanting in. No, oh, she's whimpering out there. Let me say goodbye to them. And if it wasn't for the fact that I had a lock on the inside, she would have busted open that door and come right in. Ah, right, there we go. Turn it on. Be a new log entry, probably. All right. Sent 0507 <clears throat> Alpha Laboratory Sector H. H. Wells. Uh, someone is banging on the main door. At first, we thought it was you, but I don't know. She sounds exactly like me. We tried to open it with no success. She doesn't answer us. Just screaming like a tortured person. What is going on? I feel like I'm going crazy. Yeah, no worries, Angel. I understand. We'll see you in just a little bit. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. I called it. Now what do I do with it? Ah, there's the other button. Go down. Oh, I don't like that. What kind of a cocked up factory is this? Seriously. No power to that door. Okay. Keep going along. Crawling up on the wall. And I have mental issues, apparently. I have no choice. <clears throat> Error. Oh, is that just noise? all that sound I heard was exactly from that, not anything else. Yeah, this ain't creepy as all. Not all. No, not at all. Oh. Um. I don't know where I'm supposed to be going. I heard creepy ass noises. There. Clicked on it. Now what do you want to do? Just let me out of here. <laughs> I'm guessing that was all. I just need to click on it. Do I put the job on here? <laughs> okay, exit. 
clicked on it. Now nothing. So it looks like my mental state went back to normal. Okay, light came on. Don't know why I came in here in the first place. It's like the only way to go. station again. Where we wanted to get back to down there. Of course, we still need a code. Uh -huh. Could I? Nope, I can't. Darn. Bioluminescent tree. Interesting. So close. Come on, jump, 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 jump to your death. Darn. Okay. At least he thought that one through. Here, I would have jumped over and right onto those shelves and lowered, like, slowly climbed down or something. Reality versus video game life. said call. Come on. Come back. No change in log, right? Nope. You are going crazy. because this has no power, so we had to go that way. I'm just trying to figure out, did they just send me this way just to do that one little bit of the chair, or what? Let's 
broken. I've already established that. And you walk through a much tighter space, so it slows you down. And then Grandma's chair, or somebody's chair. Understand. I feel like I'm gonna have to go back, so we're probably gonna do that. We're probably just gonna head back, because honestly, at this point, I don't know what I would do. Can't use that. Oh, wait, did I get a key? Oh. Okay, so I guess that was the whole point. I think I got that from that chair, a key. Was there a locked door for that key somewhere? Oh, there are several locked doors, I guess. So, okay, back we go. We have to head all the way back. It's the only thing I can think to do at the moment. And I don't know if there's actually a way back to the storage room. I assume there should be. That means that we have to face off with that thing that was in that room, that area again. Fun stuff. Going up. I was wondering because it seemed like the psychosis suddenly had stopped. So it had to be because we had grabbed the key, which was hard to see on that chair. Yesterday I found a lot of things in this game were very difficult to see. I had to crank up the light, uh, the lighting. And that is one thing about uh, game development I've noticed. I've seen people ask this question before about horror games in particular. I'm creating a horror, ga horror game and I want it to be so damn dark the person can't see shit, you know. And uh, they've, they've been literally told by other developers, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. Unless you have a real reason to in this particular scene, don't do it. Um, you know, make it so... <clears throat> I mean, it's got to be realistic, right? Even if it is dark, your eyes adjust, and you should be able to see in most cases. Unless the entire room is pitch black, and there's a reason for it. Like in the Ninth Carnal. I, they gave me a flashlight, obviously. And there was a reason for giving me a flashlight. Could have used it, and it would have been fine. But apparently... Like in here, you don't get a flashlight. You don't get anything. Okay, so... This is the way that I came earlier. Those doors shut behind me. So obviously... This is as far as I can go. Now I have this key. And again... It has to be somewhere for me to go with the key. And so we are walking all the way back just to see... If there's something we're missing here. Can I do like I thought? Can I jump over? And onto that stuff? Nope. Boy, would that be helpful. Because, see, there's where we went earlier. We came up, and we jumped over. But I can't jump up and over any of this. Thinking that maybe I can get... Oh, hey. Darn. Up. Come on. Get up on it. Darn. Okay. Good. Where would you use a key? It even says there's no context for it. Just a key. And I'm stuck on these catwalks. Now we're back here again. Some of those things like these games puzzle games just to keep things moving. I'm going to have to like occasionally play a little bit of it and then come back and see if my brain refreshes. If we can figure out the next steps. But we're going to play this a little longer see if we can figure this out. And if not, we'll move on to the Alien Cube. And the Alien Cube, at least I know it's pretty straightforward. Unfortunately, yesterday it just so happened it was crashing on me and I was a little bit uh, irritated because like everything was kind of going to hell in a handbasket. <clears throat> uh, I mean, this door uh, here is 
specifically locked and no power. Let me through. Will the key work? No. You see, we've got crouch for a reason. Am I overlooking some place to crouch through in here? Yeah, I'm overlooking something. Else. BS thing crawled that way earlier towards that chair. I don't see a door, I see a keyhole. So like those things, that's just like in that one room. But I can't go back. I just tried. And I'll run back one last time. That's going to be it. And then we'll probably call it an end of the game. Just because, you know, we're stuck. And I'm not going to spend hours here on live. Trying to figure out a puzzle with no flashlight. No ability to see anything around me. So without a flashlight, you think that it has to be fairly obvious. Uh, something I have to jump over, something I have to go under, or something I'm missing. This part kind of reminds me of the movie Total Recall. Some of those games that, they, that go off of almost pure silence with ambient noise. And honestly, I think this is much better done than games that have continual music being played than that. Back in the door. So this is where we came from earlier. And it's not going anywhere. Doors aren't opening. <laughs> we aren't going anywhere. Even though it kind of hints, it seemed like back at those area. Key without an indication. I mean, literally, it just looks like no key. Gotta scalp them. Maybe I gotta do a blood sacrifice on the chair. Can't do anything about that. I know that for a fact, but. <clears throat> we can't jump off the scaffolding. It's sticking us in this deliberately. Walls I'm missing, right? <laughs> it's like the other game, we get to a certain point, and then it's like, 
the hell am I overlooking? They don't make it obvious sometimes. Not that it should necessarily be obvious. I mean, I played plenty of puzzle games when I was a kid that were really difficult just because you couldn't figure out well, where am I supposed to head. Actually, the worst of them was like, I used to play a game called Shivers. I loved it. It was a great game, but they had puzzles in there that were, I mean, they were difficult to beat. They were like everyday puzzles too. I don't know if you ever played like the Mar Marble Solitaire game. There is a way to beat it if you know how. But otherwise, it is not an easy puzzle. I don't... Okay, you know what? This is just going to be me out of curiosity here. Okay, there's no... No door over here. No keyhole. See any doors? Nothing unique, nothing standing out. Got no power here. And no. Oh, wait. Ha ha! Man, you walk around enough times. <laughs> you eventually figure it out. There we go. Cheers! Okay, so I gotta now realize that I can interact with the, the panels on the walls. I think I've walked up to those before, and that's why I'm like, I don't see what I gotta do, because I didn't think, you know, it was interactive. <clears throat> okay, so apparently the panel is interactive and it's in certain instances. But we still don't have this freaking code. I didn't read anything with a code on it. We still don't have this code. <laughs> ah, but we've got a key. I came in from there. I can't come back down that, you know. There's nothing I can do that way. We finally got access to this. Oh, this door. Yep. Told you. Lock doors. Elevator. Squish, squish. Whole place looks run down. Oh, that's a long way down. <laughs> up, not down. At least we're making some progress. <clears throat> I really wish we had a flashlight at times. get that there's probably no reason for it but because of the way they made this but seriously what is this added to documents oh we finally got a document um there 2301 that is our code finally got the code I wish you could hit escape to back out of. Oh, it's already here. Okay. Hit escape to back out of the, uh, the menu. It said 2301, right? I think that's what I said. I always double check it. Pretty certain that's what it is. Listen to your system ID to proceed. Ooh, K. 
Okay. My system ID. Do I know my system ID? I don't think I know it. I don't know if this is the system ID. I doubt it. Let's find out. See if that added power to open up doors. No power. Still no power to open up the door. computer down here that I used right there let's see if this says anything in particular I can use on it ID 4236E see I thought that would come in here at some point Chapter 2, My Corpse in the Sewers. Oh, lovely. Talk about names, man. I, mean, I get it. He's expressing his, uh, what happened to him. I went through some pretty depressive states in my life at some point. Uh oh. I actually opened that. Okay, now that one's locked, but I assume I'm going to have to open it because it actually shifts. See, these don't even move. It says the door is broken. But that one, it moved slightly, which means it's locked. I need to unlock it. The only door that doesn't look like the rest. Is that a body? Yeah, man. Oh, shit. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not touching that. <laughs> I don't know. Are there... De I think there's designations on the doors out there, aren't there? I need something. Yeah. I bet. I'm trying to get access to the sewers. It almost like semi-filled. Filled. Not fully filled, just semi-filled. Like a part of a body's in there. Alright, so it's B9... Fifty-three. So I guess I can open up like one at a time. And sixty-four. I'm gonna go with sixty-four first. I think we'll move down that one first. Each one of them. Maybe those two and then B9. Uh, I don't like B9. I don't like the looks of it. 
Alright, 64. What? Uh uh. Okay. No, well, definitely not this one. Let's go 53 then. Might be like the, v the very first one I've seen, B9, the one I don't want to go into. Maybe that's the one I'm gonna have to get into. Did 64 close? I'm curious. Yeah, it did. 53 was here. Uh. Okay. If you say so. Oh, wow. Say a screwdriver. Can I jam the fan with it? Is that it? Alright, B9 then. Sounds like I'm playing chess or I'm playing Battleship. You sunk my Battleship. That says BB. But that really looks like B9, don't it? Ah, oh, I guess it's B8. B8. That eh, sounds more appropriate. Ah, so dark. Can't see anything. Oh, more red lights. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, what the hell? Strange noise coming from this hole. No shit. <laughs> Can we plug the hole? What if I throw nails down in there? Is there a pipe I can use? Anything? has a code on it. I don't know the code. Mm. Okay. B8. You have a code. What is your code? Actually, not B8. The 64, whatever it is. The very first one I attempted to go into. I have a screwdriver. Oh, mm, I don't think I can... I need something. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. Can you use nails here? What about nails? No? What about the jawbone? Does the jawbone work? Give it up as a sacrifice. Don't know why I have a jawbone. Don't understand that at all. Maybe I'll get to put together a body later. Alright, can't access that panel. We're trying to remember, like, things that we can do. Go back to 53, where we got the screwdriver from. Can I use a screwdriver for anything out here? I can use it on broken doors, you know. It's jammed. Let's wedge it with a screwdriver. Nope. Oh, all right. Sorry about that. spinning fan. I can turn it off, maybe. Oh, wait. I wonder. Now, this is just curiosity. I don't know if it's a wise thing to do. If anybody would do it, it's kind of probably not the right idea, but you know. If it works, it works. It's 
sounds like the fan, right? That's what I was thinking. That's what I thought. Glad I had the box of nails. All right, 53 again. Looks like Alien now. I heard that's a pretty good game. Where am I supposed to go? Ah. Ran right past it. It's such a rush. Get me out of here. Paintbrush. Bar, green pyramid thing. Let's see what our inventory shows. What is this thing? A green colored toy. Crowbar, paintbrush. Got all sorts of tools. I don't have a clue what I'm supposed to do with them. I thought I'd get a passcode to enter that. I wonder. It's one of those things like it's a. Uh, Screaming. Beautiful. You're not really, but still. of how to solve the puzzles. Let's see, there's 64. I don't know if this will work. Oh, no, see, we can't even... I was thinking maybe we could, like, smear it with the oil and we'd be able to see what the... what it's supposed to be. Lock. It's not really jammed, it's just locked. What is the code? What could the code possibly be, everybody? Anybody have any clues? Anybody at all? I don't. Whatever. <laughs> Anyone have any clues? I was like blood around there. I know it's not blood, but still, kind of looks like it. Had to have missed it. I mean, I 
that's jammed. I wonder. I can't use it on that door, huh? What about the other door that says it's jammed? Um, that was 64. numbers I know over 64, 53. Oh, why did it do that? Because the mouse is being a jerk. Because their system is... Did it actually hit the right number? Okay. No, either I missed something back in room 53. Or there's something else I'm missing here. Again, coming to that difficult dead end. Assume since you can't see down in any of these rooms that even though they're jammed and I have a crowbar, it doesn't really matter. Can't see in there, therefore I'm not going to be accessing them because you don't have a flashlight. Even B8, there's a little bit of light there for you to see. It says B. It's got a square around it. I wonder why that one's different. It's not a three digit code, it's a four digit. say the square around the B has some sort of signification. But I don't know. Can't access the panel. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I wonder. Huh. Maybe we can use this here. Yeah. Can't get in the room until we have the code, so there's got to be another way to progress, right? What's this way? Uh-huh. All right, first this way, then. Uh-huh. <laughs> I just don't have to worry about falling off too much. Is there something I need to see over here? No, it doesn't look like it. Another passcode. Uh, yeah, it's another passcode. It's not jammed, it's just locked. Come on, guys. Seriously, I'm very curious if my heart rate is actually... If my heart rate is that low. District B quarters. E? What is this? Ooh, a camera. Uh-huh. Photos of things. Like a child. Is that a recording I can watch or just play? Play it? I guess not. Okay. Hmm. 
One third, seven percent overload. Melting pump system malfunction. Water storage tank is full. The system needs to be recalibrated in the control room. Oh, jeez. Sure, another darkness in red. These don't look like quarters. These look like prison cells. Why you gotta be like that? Guess we can't open a single one of them yet. Not sure if I could open them if I wanted to. Oh, there's one that I'm guessing I can open. Probably need a key. Same thing with this one. It's not making the that sound. So it seems like there's a few, unless it's just can't open any of them yet. Anything up here I can use? Nope. We got what we could use there. E is closed. District E. Hold down the right mouse button to equip the camera. Oh, left mouse button to use the flash. Oh, now we have... Uh, <laughs> now we can see with it. That I don't like at all. If we need to see in the dark, that's how we're going to see in the dark. Lovely. No power. Lower water level before entry. Okay, so we need power. So what are we doing then? Where are we going? That says the control room. Do you suppose I have to go back the way I came? Let's see how this works. Yeah. There's a dead end here. So, second big quarters. Uh, brief moment of light flash just so that we can see. Can I, is that like creating photos? No. Okay. That's what I was curious about. I'm not creating any photos or anything. See. Let's wait for it to recharge every time too. Alright. This power here is running. Where is it running? into the ground and disappearing. Okay, so we need to fix this issue. I think by coming back with it, that was kind of there. Oh yeah, I forgot. There's more out here for us to explore, isn't there? Oh, lovely. 
Oh, yeah. I'm just going to take this with me wherever I go. Apparently, you can throw objects. I'm not 100% sure if that's useful against the thing that was chasing me earlier. Okay, I'm not sure what the syringe is for. Oh, that's right. Okay. I don't like this idea. <laughs> choice okay uh real quick let's see what that syringe is for small syringe without any cap or protection oh lovely we're gonna keep that in our pocket that crunching sound is that just me in there <laughs> will the flash stun him see that there it walked it walked it's walking right along it doesn't care. It wants to mess with my head. There it is again. I don't know if I follow it or if I go a different direction. <laughs> I don't know if I trust it. Didn't steer me wrong following it before, but still. Yeah, I guess I'm going to have to follow it. It's one of those things like this is part of their story. I'm just curious. I'm going to have to keep looking. Oh my gosh. What the hell is this? Oh yeah. I'm in something intestinal and it's breathing. Teddy bears. Uh, okay. What if we put... There's one. It's locked. Okay, so I don't know if if there's an order. Yeah, see, I just set it down. I don't know if there's an order that you just put them in here. Okay. Yeah, it was right, Angel. <laughs> okay. It wanted me to come this way. It's like I hear it behind me or something. Oh, it's the walls or I oh yeah, look, actually it's I think it's I can't see it. Is that a head? Yeah, that's a head, those are arms. You can barely see it, but there's something there living and breathing oh. <laughs> yay dark hallway this is worse than freaking um, outlast <laughs> at least you had night vision this it's like a flash of light for a split second you have to wait for it to recharge <laughs> tension we have power outages again in the age sector KB-21 maintenance. Uh, the backup source is out, too. When the crew is going to investigate the issue, please tell them to handle the equipment with care and follow the ventilation lines on the ground with a light source. Allen A. ID 34445. ID 34445. <laughs> I feel like I should be writing some of this stuff down sometimes. Never know when you're going to need that. Uh, so handle the equipment with care and follow the ventilation lines on the ground with a light source. Okay. Follow the ventilation lines I think is what it's saying right so hold this up what's the ventilation lines seriously okay one more time flash it again is it those black ones that are coming out I'm guessing yeah I did equip the camera this is slow go <laughs> Oh, this is horrible. You'd think Outlast is bad. <laughs> I'm waiting for something to pop up just to freak me out of purpose. <clears throat> 
I don't know if I keep hitting the same thing. I should probably be moving forward at this point. Oh yeah, we're moving forward. Okay. I was just moving forward so slight it was hard to tell. Jeez. Like right at a corner. No! Oh, fuck! I, I was waiting for it, bastard. Hear this. Alright. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Keep moving. That was messed up. <laughs> so that is even worse than Outlast, in my opinion. Oh, hey, look. It's a yellow piece. I, I bet anything I have to go back through that. <laughs> My corpse. Memory chip? I wonder if this person just dreamt about their corpse or if they actually had like tried to commit suicide and they died at some point. And that's part of their story they're telling. That's sad to think that that might be. <clears throat> oh, we're back to where we were. Do we have to go? Don't tell me I have to go back to that again. You told me to follow the ventilation lines. I did follow the ventilation. Oh, I thought I followed the ventilation lines. Uh, two out of four. We need four. I know we need four of them. But am I gonna find them all here? Because I didn't find the green one here. Oh, we could actually. Maybe we can take more photos? Oh no. Oh! I wonder if that's the code. I've been looking for a four number code. Let's see here. Okay, back this way, yeah. Sound sometimes I'm like waiting for something to get in the corner. Well, alright, we were looking for another code too, but I bet this is this one. Okay, no door to go into. Key. Can of spray, whatever that's for, spray paint. see what this is. This break can contain some kind of a dissolved or chemical. The text on it is old and not readable. Again, a small engrave on the inside that says E. Okay, so that would be probably for that E door. District E. But that's that one that um, just around the corner here.
squishy sounds. Oh, wow. Okay. Can we... Thank you. Get close enough to push on the button. What does the terminal say? Log. Alright. One of the sensors detected motion near the, the signal source. I really hope it was you. We also went through an, an, another anomaly. It happens much more frequently. We saw this at the beginning of the game. Very similar message. So nothing new there. Oh my gosh. Oh, the light just went completely out. Okay, it's gone. And there's E. Okay, this seems like it's a memory. But there's the red pyramid. Ah. Of course. Do you want me to sit down? I mean, oh my gosh! Being trapped in their own mind. All right, if we can finally leave. We're out of here. Got the other one. It means we're one pyramid shape down. I don't want to go back in there. <laughs> oh man. Oh wait, we are over in here. This is not the way to go. Wait, I thought. Which way did I go? Monsters turned around. Cause I came in through that door, I thought. So it's got, it's got to be it. I just went the wrong way. Let's see here. Aha! Uh -huh. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Back down this direction. That door, the light. There wasn't light on it earlier. We have to go back in there because there's that table. And we still need one more pyramid. <clears throat> Missing one pyramid. Can't open it without it. That's pulsing. That's lovely. I don't think any of these... Whoa, what is that? A small surgical tweezer? Uh, tweezers? Hmm. Okay, what next? I don't think we have to go back the way we came, right? Unless I want to venture back down to that dark, dark place. I don't think we have to go back that way. There's something else I'm missing. Could be wrong. Might have to venture back down there. We were in there. We had all that. We've been in there, right? That's where we got... The first one, I think, the first pyramid and a, and a syringe was in here. What's this one? Okay, so that's the same room. I don't 
don't think that matters if we go that way. There's nothing in here but that pyramid, right? There's a long hallway. Yeah. Can't go through there. Nah, Dank left us, but that's alright. <laughs> or maybe it's still there. I know that my, my viewership over on Twitch comes and goes, but like they'll be there active and then suddenly someone will disappear off the viewer list, but they're still there. I've been in here. And I couldn't open any of the doors. All the doors were closed. Lights. I think they're deliberately messing with me. Every time I walk one way, they flicker for a bit. I've got to fix the issue. Let's see here. Hey, Sid, how you doing? I hope you're having a wonderful day so far. In case. Mm, excuse me. I'm sure the Twitch stream says what we're playing, but just in case, uh, we are playing Adam Lost Memories. The game was made by a developer who wanted to express his feelings and his, you know, um, experiences as a child going through uh, physical and mental abuse. So, <laughs> it's been an interesting ride so far. I'm doing great. I'm doing great. I wanted to try something other than Outlast. Outlast Trials... I'm liking it, but again, it's one of those things like eventually it, it, I have to try something new, right? And, uh, aside from playing multiplayer or just doing it just to achieve things, the the feel of it does kind of, I mean, there are new maps, but overall it is kind of repetitive, <laughs> you know? So I'll probably end up starting to do like maybe a single day of Outlast Trials where I hit that up um, and hit some of these other horror games that I have that I've been meaning to get to. Kind of keep things fresh, you know. This one was taking longer than I thought. I actually thought it was going to be a shorter game. Um, but it's taking a lot longer than I thought it would. And right now, I'm stuck trying to find this last pyramid I need. I don't know what direction I have to go. I've been down that way. I went through that hellacious landscape. And I don't really feel like going back through there again. Like here, here's a nightmare fueled maze for you. You think Outlast is bad with um, night vision? Ooh, this game. They give you a camera and you can only find your way in some areas by using the flash. There was another game called Fatal Flash, I think is what it's called. Uh, I really was interested in it. I remember when I was a kid, I liked one that was, or I guess my early 20s, more like it. Uh, there was a game I liked, it was on PlayStation. Um, and it was the very same thing. You, you used a camera to capture ghosts. Oh, it's screaming in anguish. Like, how you like? And it reaches up and shoves me off. Alright. Oh no, it's laughing at me. Or crying, or I don't know what that thing's doing. I feel like I have, like, everything has to be done down there, so I feel like I'm missing something. Like, maybe I wasn't following the right lines through there, and I have to go back through that hole. <laughs> oh, okay. Let's see here. Um, 64, was it? Or was it 53? I think it was 64. I don't think the code's the same. I think it's a different code. No, it says access granted. So I guess I'm putting the coat. Do they? Oh my gosh! <laughs> Why? <laughs> Those are some big ass skulls. Um, I don't even want to hold up the camera and see what I'm missing in here. Uh, 
Oh, those are supposed to be bunnies with skulls on them, huh? No, the teddy bears with skulls. Okay. But what what do I do? Hey. Ah, uh, hello. There's something I'm supposed to do. I know I'm supposed to do something with this. <clears throat> yeah, right. That was not expected coming in here, Angel. I was not expecting to see all this. Um, maybe I got to use tweezers. My cursor doesn't change on the bunny at all. Can't use this here. Yeah, no shit. Didn't think you could, but can I use it on there? No. No. Use a screwdriver. Pull out any teeth they're need. They have. Look for gold ones. Okay, what is the purpose of even coming in this room? Just to like mess with me. Oh wait, oh, that's, that was to open the door, wasn't it? Yeah. I don't see anything in here that's useful. This was just like to torment me, I think. <laughs> oh man. Just to give you a little bit of a what the hell? All right. I was hoping that the other pyramid would be in there. Yay, we can get in it. Damn, didn't do a thing. <laughs> now, 53 here. We went down there earlier, and I think that was... Yeah, B8 was to set up for 53, so we'd go in it. I don't get this. At this point now, now I'm at a loss again. <clears throat> I need one more pyramid. We were able to finally get in that room. But there was nothing in there of use. Just a bunny and a police car and a bunch of teddy bears with skulls for heads. Nothing down that way. Okay, so what I do know is that when I went down that way earlier and then I came back, the body was in front of the door again. I feel like I've got to go back through here, and I don't want to. <laughs> I really don't want to. Oh. That's what happens. Like It leads you by showing you that, that thing, that creature. And we got out of here, and then I went and did something. I think I found the other pyramid or something. Or I found something else. I went back, I came back this way, and it was standing in front of the freaking door. I don't know if it was trying to tell me I have to go put the pyramid in, or if I have to go back through this hell. I don't know what the best way to go, but this is already here, right? Okay, we can't push the button, so I assume it's not meant to go back down and go, go like, be done again. Because I doubt there's a call button below, as I recall, I didn't see one. Yeah, hold on one second. You know, real quick, I'm going to find the name of that other game real quick because there's another one that's very similar. Um, That's not it. Or another game where somebody, they, they essentially, to express like what they went through, this guy, um, this other game, the guy expresses essentially his, um, what he went through in... Uh, through depression and um, manic or manic depression and uh, suicidal thoughts, um, I think his wife had left him as part, you know, and he was going through a lot. He just couldn't get himself out of it. And at some point, um, I'm not percent sure if he committed himself or not, or if someone committed him, but he did get committed, I believe. And then um, he made this game. I believe I can't. I, I can't say for sure. You'd have to look in the the, the actual story of the game. Just see if I can find it really fast. It would come up. Uh, 
thought would just stand out to me on my list. I know I have, I know where it is. I know it's on this list. I just don't. Ah, never ending nightmares. There it is. Never ending nightmares. Uh, let's see here. Experience true psychological horror as you explore nightmare inspired by the creator's struggles with depression and OCD. My apologies, OCD. Obsessive compulsive disorder. The defenseless protagonist must avoid mon monstrous manifestations of what haunts his subconscious in his quest to wake up into reality. And so, yeah, it was it was a game that the person developed specifically to express, you know, the trials that they went through regarding their OCD and the relationships they had, the struggle that it had on that, and then the depression it created as a result of all that, you know. <clears throat> so, back to the game. <laughs> but, yeah, this one's a little different. This is more about someone's experiences in life with, um, with their, uh, physical and mental abuse as a kid. So, they wanted people, they wanted to, like, for people to be able to say, okay, so yeah, we definitely are not going back the way we came. The door's jammed, the elevator's shut, so the other pyramid's got to be somewhere else. At least I know I don't have to go back to that nightmare-induced basement again. I said earlier, we're, I was play, um, running a game called Ninth Carnal, and it's the play test. The game's not out yet. And unfortunately, we got stuck. I learned a few things about it. I'll probably give it another go here again, maybe tomorrow or the next day, or sometime soon. But um, we did learn uh, a few things about the game and its mechanics. Uh, we ran out of battery, though, and got stuck. Like, the doors were shut. It wouldn't let us out. And so we just had to move on to a different game for the time being. And this game I almost gave up on because I was running in circles, like I'm about to now, because I can't seem to find the last pyramid toy. <clears throat> and you know, I just feel like uh, if I can't find something, we'll just move along. You know? I got another game I was uh, I started yesterday. It's called Alien Cube, um, and its graphics was really good. The storyline, the voiceovers were doing good. Uh, unfortunately, yesterday I had hell all break loose on my uh, computer. Uh, Steam client needed to update uh, some redistributables. And because it didn't quite fully update before I started playing some of the games, it caused uh, some conflicts, and then the games weren't loading at all. They were stuck on my, uh, the firewall wasn't leaving it open. See, I feel like it's got to be in here, right? Because I've come in here multiple times. I feel like that pyramid is supposed to be in a room in here, but I'm not sure how I'm going to get into one of these doors. I don't open. <laughs> Like, I wonder if I set, because one of these is a, is a number, I think, upstairs, right? And that, uh, I wonder if I set the, the number to that door, if it'll open up down here, too. Kind of like how the code on the door was a similar. I don't see uh, 8 for, like, B8, you know? We had B8 for that door upstairs, but I think 64 was a door? We do have doors in the 60s. And 70s, and 80s. But anyway, I digress there. Um, we were having troubles with loading games. Suddenly I was having issues with all my games. None of them would load yesterday. And found out that it was because of the Steam client. And I, that's one issue I have is the Steam client. Uh, yeah, there's 64. I think it was 64. But, you know, using these, these, um, these software clients as ways to like download and track your games you know, it's great that there's cloud services out there, but at the same time, I paid, you know, I paid for the game. And I expect to be able to access the game regardless of the, the client software, whether or not it works or not. That That is not my fault if their client software fails, but my uh, video game should not be reliant on the client software. For So, for instance, like Outlast Trials yesterday, that's how I figured this wasn't like an isolated event, because I had been playing Outlast Trials, it was working, and it's a newer game, so I tried it again, and Outlast Trials suddenly... It wouldn't, it wouldn't start, it wouldn't work. And I found that the problem was, was the Steam client. Outlast Trials was relying on the Steam client to connect. So if I don't have the Steam client, and if it ain't working, I can't play Outlast Trials. Whoops, no, I need to go this way. This is where I do need to go. There's gotta be something out here. A couple more runs through these hallways, and then we're just gonna call it done. We'll head back. Uh, we'll just, uh, 
Did I miss something down this way? No, no, no. We saw that earlier. But is there something I'm missing? The pipe that leads somewhere. Oh, no, no, no. Come on, back out. Okay. And there's this. Nothing. Okay. But you pay for the game, you should be able to play it regardless of whether or not the Steam client, you know, is operating. We've already been there. I don't, I'm kind of lost now. I don't know. There's another, that'd be some place for me to get the other pyramid. No, we were down there. Maybe I need to make it right here. Have I been down here? No, yeah, we've been down here too. Hmm. Well, the only thing I can think to try is that number on the the panel up here. And if that doesn't work, then we may call it done for this game. I'll take a short break, and then uh, I do intend to stream until 2 today. So I'll probably pick up another game. I'll probably jump over to Alien Cube for a little while. Let's see what's going on here. Mm. I love when people pop in for a little bit. I wish they would stay longer, but, you know. See, 64, so I'm wondering... If 64 will align with 64 downstairs, at least they have the same numbers. So if B8 is my alignment, maybe I gotta go do something upstairs. Just one more try. I don't know, Angel, what do you think? You think I talk too much sometimes? <laughs> uh, let's see here. Through this door? No, it wasn't this door. My bad. Back out. Hang right. Is this door? Yeah. Let's see if it lines up. Nope, it doesn't. <clears throat> Thanks. It makes me wonder, I've thought about like switching over the game instead of like aligning it to the game on Twitch, just putting it on just chatting and people can sit and talk. Thought maybe I'll get a little bit more uh, headway with people. I know I've, I've done it before and I've got some attention from people that way. Can't use it. Can't use it. You think I was given this for a reason? I was given this for a reason. <laughs> you know, what do I use it with? It's like I was given these tweezers for a reason. I don't think there's something out here that I have to use tweezers for. Can't open anything with a gate on it. All these are shut. Well... Thank you. Thank you, Angel. Yeah, I know you've made several clips. I appreciate it. I need to do that. I need to set up my... There's some more work on t uh, Twitch I need to do with... Getting my TikTok account tied into it and just pulling those clips, downloading the videos. I did find, I pulled the videos originally, um, the videos from, from Twitch are really good for the quality that they provide, so. Okay, we were already down here. I've been done, did this. <laughs> Big, giant, grotesque head was sitting there staring at me. Can't go this way. There's nothing there. All right. Oh, I can't really see it beyond that grate. It's like a flash. Makes it difficult. Is there somewhere I'm supposed to like crawl through? This is where we get to a part in the game that you know there's something we're overlooking. Something simple. Something stupid. Come on, fit through the hole. 
have to... Alright, I've run back and forth several times, up and down that ladder. I think this is where I'm going to take a break, and I'll be back in just a little while. Please stick around if you do. Angel, I know that you had intentions to run alive in a little bit, so, uh, you know, if I don't see you when I come back, I will come check out your live and look for a little bit before I actually watch, so. Um, but I will talk to you all here real soon. It'll be about maybe 15, 20 minutes. Be right back.
All right, so I didn't uh, I didn't go very long. <laughs> Went to go use the facilities like I thought I needed to. Um, grab myself some more water because I was just out of water, and I'm really not all that hungry because my fiance, well, she made a uh, a mighty burrito this morning that filled me up really well. So uh, don't really need to eat right now. However, like I said, we have hit a, a plateau here in the game. We've hit a spot where I'm kind of stuck. Uh, we might revisit this again here very soon, but we're going to go ahead and switch games. <clears throat> so I need to quickly make an update to the stream so it captures the actual game that we're going to be playing. But it definitely made me think, you know, sometimes uh, going into, like, uh, just chatting might be a good way to... Uh, maybe it's, maybe I gotta put in the alien cube. Yeah, okay. This is a mature rated video game that may not be suitable for some viewers. Just a heads up, everybody. <clears throat> it's a Lovecraftian inspired game in case. Okay. Yeah, what game are you thinking, Angel? Let me see if I can... We'll pop this over to live scene, and then let's see... So you can see my desktop here. You can see my long, extensive list of games. <laughs> I figured we'll start from the top and work our way down. <laughs> so we did play Ninth Carnal Playtest this morning. Um, ran into that issue where we got stuck, and then we'll probably revisit that. Um, Abandoned Souls is what we tried yesterday, and same issue. We got stuck and couldn't really figure out what the next trigger was to move on. Um, some of these I'll be skipping, you know, for some time, like Octoon, uh Cthulhu Cla uh, Tactics. This is a, uh, it's a tactical game, so, you know, it's going to be um, very turn-based strategy. I figured we'll, we'll skip that for now. Uh, Adam Lost Memories, what we were playing just a moment ago, and of course... We found a, a stopping point, a break that we can't figure out at the moment. So lots of great videos from other content creators over time. But Alien Cube is the one that we are going to attach to now. So, However, just like um, Outlast, I have all the Amnesias except for the most current one, which is Amnesia Bunker. And someone brought that up to me. You know, have I played Amnesia before? I said, actually, I had. I played Dark Descent, the very first one. Uh, never beat it. Uh, however, it was the one that I was going to do for like content creation for doing like a game walkthrough and that, and I never ended up beating it. So, uh, or actually following through on that. So, um, I figured just like Outlast, once we hit to this point, we will probably just play these through in order. <clears throat> Sheen for Pigs was like their last one before they did uh, the bunker. So, anyway, let us jump into. The alien cube. And you know what, uh, Angel? I think. Nope, I don't. So we'll go ahead and pop that one on there. Or maybe it was. No, it, looks, it is now for sure. Ten days to die. Aha. <laughs> I'm guessing that's like a knockoff. All right. 
to start the game. This one was actually kind of cool yesterday. The art, the artwork in the game is really good, and you know, for a single developer, they seem to have done a really, a really good job. I was kind of knocking them and a couple of the others yesterday when I shouldn't have been because honestly, it wasn't their fault. The issues were happening. It was Steam, Steam's client, and just Valve in general. You know, like I said, it it has been a huge concern of mine. These guys and you know these clients and what they're. Uh, you know, their control over the games that are on your computer. They really shouldn't, in my opinion, have that much control over your stuff, so. <clears throat> Yesterday, because I jumped out, because I was trying to, like, get the, um, hey, Dank Freeze, good to see you back. Uh, get the viewership counts to register correctly because everything went to hell yesterday. I'm <laughs> just tell you, but um, I try to get the viewership counts registering correctly, and so I jumped out of this game. And when I did that, it messed up this game. And then no games were loading, and all sorts of shit was going crazy. So um, I'm glad it's loading up and starting again. My cute, my cursor was showing on the screen when it shouldn't. Like you can see here, it doesn't show. But. <clears throat> I'm not sure where it left off when the whole thing went to hell yesterday. I know that it didn't go. I think I picked up what was in here. Yeah, we read that yesterday. And yeah, Angel, I'll definitely... Uh, it's on my wish list. I'll have to check it out. But really, we need to get together and play a couple games. Um, Co-op, because I know that you've got... You have... Um, you know, Outlast Trials. We should give that a shot. But you also have Labyrinthine. I don't know anybody else who has that. I have it. Fun music. There's no handle. It'll be about time I get... That's right, we were still looking for the other statuette. So I started looking around for that. That was off. Turn on the switch here. Yeah, I made it to the very last level. Um, the mines that you have to investigate. I made it that far. And there, it kicked on its own. I was waiting for it. <sighs> yes, yeah, see, I have demonology too. Man. I haven't really dived into it yet, but we should definitely check that out and play. A lot of good multiplayer horror games, right? Hey again, Sid. Glad to have you back again. No one wants to eat that crap. <laughs> uh, what's that disgusting substance? It smells terrible. I don't like the idea at all. But I can try to get through that hole. Yeah, I think you're gonna have to go through. <laughs> again with it drowning me out? Alright. <clears throat> Might have to change the volume <laughs> settings in the game this time. I found out where it is. It seems that the god's eye is hidden there. Yes, my lord. I will go there immediately. Yeah, I'll just stop talking during the loud parts. <laughs> That might be better. <clears throat> I had to stretch there. Feeling that tension up in the shoulders, you know? Where am I? <clears throat> I'll start yelling really loud. That works too. Either way, we'll figure it out. So I had to turn it down so much that, it, like, you know, it's only, only, like, you can only hear it when it's really loud. Locked, I have to find a way out of here. 
Uh, more puzzle games and that's a syringe. Somebody's been doing some drugs. Lots of syringes. Alright. There's gotta be a way. Where do I have an inventory, I think? No. There we go. Great, look quite weak. I may be able to break it with a kick. Hey, good on you. Patch very narrow, but I have to try. Right next to the shiver. Is that just like a wet towel? Journal of a member of the Order, October 30th. The disappearance of Old William's son, Edgar Mitchell, caused us quite a few problems. It has been hard to keep track of every officer, but fortunately they didn't find out anything at the scene of the fire. The purpose of that building must remain secret at all costs. At the moment, the case is in the hands of, of our men and the police. That detective won't set foot in our territories anymore. However, we must find out what happened to Edgar and close the case before someone else snoops around. We'll start by checking his apartment. November 5th, we have the proof of the existence of the God's Eye. The priestess was right. During the inspection of Edgar's apartment, we found some papers belonging to his father, Old William. Everything suggests that he was in the possession of the sacred artifact without us knowing it. How is it possible that such a trusted member of the Order betrayed us? We are trying to understand where his hiding place is. All signs point to a location out of town where there used to be an ancient village inhabited by our ancestors. Okay, there's a picture of like the statue that he's looking for. That picture of the Babylon the Tower obviously had some significance. They spy on Uncle Edgar. Who are those people and what are they looking for? They look for the God's Eye. Oh, there's the hole we came through. Screwdriver. So I think we have to go back the way we came, maybe. Just check and make sure there's nothing else I'm missing before we head out. I'd never imagined that my uncle could live in such squalor. The apartment is in very bad condition and there is dirt and mess everywhere. The weirdest thing was the presence of a hole in the kitchen and a stranger who attacked me and locked me in a room. Luckily I found a way out, but who, ha but who was that psycho? He didn't look like a simple criminal. He behaved as if he was part of an organized group. I found some upsetting research on Uncle Edgar in the apartment next door. It seems that they were looking for an ancient artifact that was owned by Grandfather William. What else is hiding in, his, in this apartment? There are still many things to discover here. Who knows what Edgar was investigating before his disappearance. I mean, that dog looks like a statue, kind of like the horse over here. I almost feel like I could stick it on there, but obviously not. Strange mechanism fitted in the wood. Something has been removed, showing the gears. Yeah, I know that. Obviously, something has to go back there. I thought it would be the dog looking at it, but hey, I could be wrong. Do we just leave then? We're good? Figure out everything you need to then? That 
has a weird colored green down there. Oh, that's a statue. All right. <clears throat> Knew we'd find it. Yeah, okay. Um, how do we get to inventory? Or like this one we had inventory options. Let's see here. Oh yeah, this is this game, at least when it comes to like um control, like your your binding for your keys, sucks. Okay, we found the statue, but what? The statue doesn't go in there? What good did finding the statue do me? Well, let's see if we can just leave then. Maybe I should have found the statue and used it earlier before that event occurred. Maybe the stat there's no reason to go this way. Alright, so we're not leaving. Means that we still have to do something in the apartment. Hey Peter, how you doing? Playing Alien Cube now. You having a good day so far, buddy? The statue, but we can't use it. I took the tape recorder with me earlier. I thought there was a there's jump. That's obvious. Yeah, you're welcome, man. So my thought is that once you have both those lined, that will open. But I found a statue, and it I can't access it. That's just the weirdest thing. I would have figured I could get access to it. Yeah. Going alright. Can't complain. There's nothing else out here, right? There's that statue was hidden down in there. We grabbed it. We think that we would then be able to use it. in the room. Mm. Hey, Unk, can't you leave us a little bit more information?
Ah. Really? Seriously? <laughs> okay, we got a small key. Hey, who would have sat there and thought of that? Seriously. Anybody here about that there and, hmm, let me try and move this open. Yeah, we'll talk about it later, Peter. Key. Oh, that was that locked drawer, I bet. Alright, after the horrific discovery, finding the answers to my questions became a real obsession. So I started to study my father's old papers in depth. My research, my research uncovered the existence of a mysterious order. Its origins are extremely ancient, but apparently it still exists today. Indeed, I found clearer references to it in my father's notes, and it seems that he was even a member. I also found out that in addition to the old cabin in the, in the mountains, my father owned many other properties scattered around the area. I didn't even know. Why didn't he tell, him, tell me about them? There was one place excuse me, in particular that was very important to him. And it seems that he did everything to keep it a secret. I made a map showing its location. I'm going to go there immediately. Black Hill Forest. Where are we now? Northwood, I think? Stonefield, interesting. I better go there right away. I'll come back here later. Those who have imprisoned me are heading there. If I hurry, I can arrive first and I find out more about what's going on. Yeah, okay, come on. Let's go. Get a move on. exit chapter 3 the secret location the road is getting arduous but I should be almost there my grandfather's secret place should be in a valley near an ancient castle not far from here with a bit of luck I should be able to arrive there before anyone else those who captured me are heading right there bad looking car. The tire looks a little flat or maybe it's just something in the ground. <laughs> Alright, I guess we'll just walk around. forget that I can jump. I did that and Adam lost memories. Couldn't get past the level or a certain area because I couldn't figure out where am I supposed to go? Forgot that I could jump. Or didn't realize I could jump. Some of these games like this one in particular, this one did a little better with like a tutorial at the beginning to give you an idea of how to access things. My grandfather's property should be behind that old building over there. I had all the way over there, huh? Yeah, it's another fun one, you know, and this one, so, um, there's another game that the, the developer made, it's called, uh, The Land of Pain, and it's a, uh, it's a prequel to this. Oh my, what's going on? You're being abducted by aliens, dude. <laughs> Losing time. Oh, little temporal shifters. <laughs> yeah, see, so now we're back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, that the bright flash in the face threw me off. Mm. Not sure where I'm gonna go. I almost feel like I could walk right off that if I'm not careful. Uh, maybe push. Yeah. 
Mega push. That doesn't seem unsafe at all. Fireflies. But those aren't dust particles, they glow. <laughs> What is this? Nothing. Just light on a rock. <laughs> Daylight on a rock. I think I'm supposed to go this way. Didn't see anything over there in rock cliff face. Uh, so there's a gate door up there. Okay, okay, Angel. See you in a little bit. Should have seen that one coming. Should have seen that coming. I feel like we're back in the same cavern we started in this game. A green fog of sorts. It won't turn on. It looks like there's no fuel in the generator. Lots of, uh, we won't be able to go until we add fuel. I'll have to get fuel then. Sorry about the bump there, everybody. I had to scratch my face a little bit. Good to see you back again, Sid. Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> <sighs> I saw a lever and felt like pulling it. Must like seeing a button and need to push it. No difference, right? Guess we need to be more careful with that one. So that's where we fell through. That headed back to a generator. They turned me around when they respawned me. That. We'll head back down this way. I'm, I won't pull the lever this time. We'll see what's over there. there gotta be something, right? There's something all the way over there. So this time, we're not gonna pull the lever. We're just gonna keep going. Explorer Journal. These places are full of secrets. We are all excited. At night, we observe the sky and those mysterious lights, while during the day, we explore these magnificent tunnels. The whole area is full of these underground galleries. It will take days and days to explore them. They're of in inestimable value. Who knows what kinds of ancient discoveries we might find deeper inside. It's said that there were ancient underground cities here, connected to each other by a network of tunnels that were populated by obscure cults. In recent history, however, no human being has gone into the depths to confirm this bizarre theory. These tunnels are very dangerous indeed, as they could collapse at any moment, not to mention the risk of falling into one of those ravines. Rosa scared me when she said that she'd heard a strange voice coming from the depths of the abyss. Who knows what she really heard, but it was probably just a poor animal that had fallen down there. Yeah, you keep telling yourself that, Bubba. We don't have any flashlight or light of any kind. Yep. Yeah. No, 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 no! <sighs> we weren't supposed to fall off. <laughs> I don't know if it matters now because we already read it. If it adds to the game itself, I didn't think I'd actually slip off, believe it or not. <laughs> that happens. So, if you're new to the channel, um, I stream Monday through Friday. I was streaming 10 to 12, but I'm streaming 10 to 2 central time now. 
be sure to give us a follow and a subscribe wherever you might be catching us as we do multi-stream on Twitch, YouTube, and Facebook. And we are a variety streamer. We are looking at getting more, not just content, but co-play as well. Ah, yeah, lunchtime. Pizza sounds good. But I'm not even hungry, honestly. <laughs> Although it's funny, um, I, someone else I know had mentioned that they don't like to eat on stream, particularly like right now because Ramadan, um, and for those who fast in that, and honestly, uh, no offense to those who do, you know, follow and practice uh, Islam, but uh, because I had looked into it for a while and even followed some of the faith for some time, um, ooh, right mouse button to exit, we're just going to look at a pretty nice guy. Anyway. The idea of fasting is that you're doing it for God, right? And you shouldn't shame others into it. I saw a video recently of um, of a, a Islamic believer who was shaming a person for eating their lunch um, while they had to fast. And honestly, I don't think that's fair because you know the idea is that you're doing it for God, and you know you're going to be around people who they eat food. They're not going to fast, and that is a test of your faith. You do not shame others into you know. Uh, into not eating because you can't. <clears throat> so, uh, I look at, like, you know, those who fast, that's their choice. They have that choice. They can make that choice. Um, and if it's part of their beliefs, that still, again, is their choice to, uh, to follow that standard. Um, but they shouldn't shame others into doing that as well. And others shouldn't have to do that, you know. It is, that is kind of the point of, um, of fasting is to prove yourself that you can do it even if you see others or even if you smell food. <laughs> you are putting it off to be closer to God in that sense. So, Not trying to get any sort of, you know, hot topics, but, you know, it's one of those things like I've eaten food on live and uh, I don't care if it's, you know, uh, going to bother somebody that's their choice if they choose to fast. So. <clears throat> I had done it for personal reasons. I've watched other people eat. Uh, my fiance has made food and I've sm smelled it and loved it. And I'm like, I want to eat. It smells so good. But I'm fasting, so. We'll leave it at that. I'm not going to move on and keep talking about it. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> Try not to talk about controversial, controversial topics here. Don't want to start a war. Not so many people in my chat that I have to worry about it right now, I don't think. But still. <laughs> Don't want to start one when that does get there. Uh, fill up the generator. Yeah, so, okay. So if I have something that works, we now know. It doesn't matter if it's my inventory. If it's hovering over something, I just can click the button and it will work. Whoa! Dude! What kind of generator is that that it explodes? I think you guys need to look into that. I don't think we should be in here. <laughs> It's about to burst. Please get me up to the top before this is a problem. Oh yeah, you swap recipes in your stream sometimes. This is where we need to be. Jump off. Because I feel like the next thing that's going to happen is it's going to collapse. Oh wow. Is that going to come up any higher, any higher? I don't think so, but that shouldn't even be like... There it goes. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> I didn't expect that, that was gonna happen. <laughs> I mean, I knew there was gonna be an explosion or something, but I didn't expect that I was gonna I was gonna actually blow up those canisters next to me, and I was gonna go with them. <clears throat> oh yeah, grease food. My son wants to. Uh, he's been learning Greece because he wants to go live in Greece. I'm like, no, I'm gonna we're gonna get away. We're gonna get far away now. We didn't get quite as far as we should have, but far enough that we didn't die this time. Wow. That's crazy. Oh, right there. 
didn't look like he was even like moving. It just looked like it glided across the ground. <laughs> I guess when you're doing it quickly, you can skimp on some of that stuff for good reason. What the hell happened over there? Who was that guy? Well, somebody looked like they might have a machete and maybe a gun in the other hand. So how you gonna get over there now, buddy? Doesn't look like we can use that. Oh, careful. We now know that we can fall off of edges. We know that for sure. What is our way over? Whoop. Something tells me. No, we came from that way, right? Because there's that tree that we knocked down earlier that we pushed to get across. We came that way up through the mine to get up here. We don't want to jump back down because we, I don't think we'll get back up that way. Figured we have to come this way, but then that makes me think that this is part of that. I thought, well, maybe I have to push it or something. Or maybe it's a run and jump. I'll just run over to it. Ow, oh, man. Man, you're weak. <laughs> Even I, who don't exercise that much or get out that often... I think I could have done that. <laughs> pretty, pretty sure I believe that I could have done that very thing without getting that hurt. Nope. All right, I guess we'll follow the yellow brick road or the bloody trail. I think it's more of a bloody trail, huh? Can't see too much blood. Are you going to start to heal or are we going to sit there and still bleed out? I guess we're going to bleed out. Lock damn. I have to find a way to get past the fence. I hope that in that building there's something I can use to heal myself. Ah, I see. I see you, said the blind man. Looks like I might be able to crawl underneath over there. There's an opening. But, yeah. Ow! Maybe not so much an opening. <laughs> I feel like that panel is my answer. Okay, we gotta come around this way. I think that'll get us up there. Right? Yeah, I didn't know. Uh, this game's completely new to me and uh, some of the stuff. Oh no, they want us to come up here. Okay. Um, I'm not 100 sure of all the game. Oh, gee, we're gonna jump after we had a huge failure of jumping earlier. <laughs> Let's just add insult to injury here. <clears throat> That bone sticking out my leg just jutted out a little bit, just a little bit further. Incense? Why do I keep moving about? I'm not, is it just because he's unsteady? I get that's the problem, because I'm like, why am I moving about? I'm supposed to be standing still. Maybe you should sit down. Um, I don't see anything. Oh, right there. There's a medicine cabinet, looks like. Come on, keep moving. Yeah, we're gonna fix ourselves. First aid kit has everything I needed. My leg is better now. I bet. Had everything. Sewing needle, I don't know. Thread. I get the feeling you had to set it and put a brace on, but you know, that's just <laughs> the way you were acting in the game, huh? Grandfather Williams Journal. We have so little knowledge of the world around us. The visions of the sacred places have finally begun. The distorted reality they reveal is extremely fascinating. But was that uh but was what I experienced real, or was it just in my head? I could feel clearly that my body was there, that it was part of that place. 
Next time I'll record everything with my voice recorder. I want to be absolutely sure that what I experienced wasn't just a vision. This sacred artifact has unimaginable power. I was lucky to find it while I was alone. It would be insane to let the other members get hold of it. No one must know. <clears throat> okay, so this game um, reminds me a lot of, and it reminded uh, Courtney, a lot of a game called Lust. And I have both Lust and Lust for Madness, or I don't know, something like that. There was a couple of them that I have. Uh, they have like two, maybe three. I think they have two, and one was a DLC. And then they've also, they are working on a third one for sure. I know they're working on another one. Um, and it should be getting released here soon. But I've had them, and they were actually ones I was going to start with first because they're they're specifically Lovecraftian based. But they also are highly sexual content in it. <laughs> like one of the very first scenes is you know sex. So um, it was something that I was like, well, I don't know if YouTube will agree with that one too much. They might at first. I'm gonna have to blur out parts of it. You know, it's locked. I have to find a way inside the cave. Who knows what my grandfather hid in there. Twitch, I think, is a little bit more forgiving, especially since you can mark your content as, like, a mature game, for instance. So. I managed to break them. I may be able to f open a passage and get through. So break them. Kick it. Oh, wait. Your leg is broken. How are you going to get in there, then? There's something in the... Something back in the... A shack here but i definitely feel like you know playing this and then playing lust also would be very much uh interesting gameplay but can i get up there no all right um amnesia is also very lovecraftian based so <clears throat> oh yeah yeah i've heard about that someone told me their time on one of the streams when i was playing um if it was you, Sid, or if it was someone else, but uh, when I was playing Outlast, uh, I commented about how in Outlast Whistleblower, there was that part with the head between the legs of the woman and then the head in her belly, uh, as if she was pregnant and giving birth to it, um, from the guy that's chasing you around, wanting to make you his wife or something. Um, but they said th those are approved games, although I didn't get demonetized, I just got... Um, they just changed the monetization to be more... Uh, it was not demonetized, but actually kind of like reduced monetization. Like, it's only... I'll only get monetization up from it when it's on uh, subscription services. Wait. We didn't finish listening to the whole thing. Sorry. I want to hear that. I want to see if there's anything particular I need to hear in there. I just realized also that part of my problem might be that, you know, for the viewership over on YouTube for me to keep track of is the window for the uh, Streamlabs chatbot, which, Angel, I don't know if you've used that. I know you've used Cloudbot, but if you can't use Chatbot, I should uh, introduce you to it. It's uh, really useful in a lot of ways. <clears throat> you kind of set things up on Cloudbot and then you can use Chatbot in conjunction with it. And I will get, you know, loyalty point reward stuff set up here soon. I'm trying to find the right sounds, and I'm not 100% set on the stuff over on Instance. Um, my Instance, there are, some, there are some things that I found that I liked, but um, I had some sounds pop in mind. Like, ooh, if I could only use that, but I don't know if I can get, like, a, a copyright-free version of it. <clears throat> I know that in most cases you can use, like, 10 seconds of sound without having to worry about it. It's considered... Um, uh, public or not public domain, but um, fair use. Yay! I knew we'd find something to bust those boards. Keep the axe, you might need it. Don't just break the boards, keep the axe. Knowing him, he's gonna throw it away. <laughs> what a waste. <laughs> <clears throat> Never understand that about some of these games. Like, here's a weapon. But you're only gonna use it to get through. Like Outlast, for instance. You can't fight back. Why not? 
<clears throat> Although our last trials, they did give you that option. And a lot of the stuff, like as you upgrade your character, oh my gosh, it gets so much better. At least for gameplay. However, I have learned, Angel, that um, when playing with, uh, I played with, of course, Peter, and then of course he introduced me to another guy named Mort, I think. Uh, Mort, though, on the other side, on the other hand, has played through the entire thing. He's level 65 on there. So he's, he's hit the end of it and he's waiting for more content to be released. Um, and he said, yeah, because someone on my stream had said, you know, Ultra is insanely difficult. And he said, yep. He's like, pretty much you have to have a full team to get through the Ultra. So there are three. You have your core training and then you have those other two trainings. And Ultra is the, is the last one. And you have to have... Uh, you have to have like a whole team so you, you know I mean if you're gonna play it you have to make sure you have a whole team to be able to play with so grandfather williams journal it's all true i managed to record everything this is the confirmation i was looking for i never imagined i would one day be walking right there in the outside that place is beyond description there's one thing i shouldn't underestimate uh, i shouldn't underestimate though if i can see i can be seen too Next time, I will have to tread very carefully if I want to go deeper. Something must have noticed my presence. During the exploration, I sensed a dreadful, malign presence that I still can't explain. That gaze. I can still feel it upon me, even now, while I'm writing this journal. <clears throat> can you really? Can you feel that gaze upon you? I hear whispers. I also have the game Call of Cthulhu, another Cthulhu-based game. What was that? No, not the word. The whispers are getting more intense. That object. get pretty loud. I can see that uh, the meter over there jumps really high up at some of those points. God, my head! What's happened to me? Did I faint? I have to take this strange object out of here and study it in the light. Yeah, wherever here in the light is. I can't even see my way back. <clears throat> oh, I don't think we're no longer in Kansas. I think we may have been transported. Look at that. That wasn't here. Yeah, I think we got transported to another, to the other realm. <clears throat> so in the very beginning of this game, we're in a cavern, and there's a body hanging above us, and we're kind of like on a cheap cot. We find our way out, but as soon as we find our way out, Something comes flying through and crashing in the ground. I think it's actually this green orb that we're holding. Can't remember what it was, but I think that's what it was. Or it was a cube of the box. Just keep moving. There. It's already nighttime? How is that possible? Must have been out for many hours. I'd better go back to Uncle Edgar's apartment. I'll be able to study the cube there. Yeah, the cube. So we got the cube in our hand. It's low on our way. Dude, I don't think you're in Kansas, like I said. Because what is that? A blood moon? There. A red light. Okay. Oh, shit. Which way to go? Oh, it's about to storm. for like or I'm 
sounds a lot like with my voice. I could do like an ASMR thing, you know. You're so sleepy now. <laughs> you wake up suddenly due to aliens. <clears throat> I don't know if I'm going the right direction or not. I'm just trying to find my way. Yep. I'm guessing that's a no. <laughs> oh shit, can't see again. Nice if they would like give me some sort of markers to where I'm supposed to be heading. I went through the gate, so I thought this would be the way down. Let's see. Let's see, I'm missing something up here. There's a light. Probably just went the wrong way, huh? <coughs> Shed. Yeah, I'm gonna straight. Is that? Huh. Those dents almost look like arrows. The way the light hits it. I think we found our way back. We were going the wrong way what there. The? Where's my car? I don't know. I guess we'll keep running. Where your car is, dude. Oh! And why did that affect me? I mean, yeah, it's close, but come on. Is he trying to tell me to turn back? Go back to that house? And his lights were? Can't get in this door. Whoa! Hey, hey, yo! Ow! <laughs> right. So I guess he's trying to tell me not to do that. Yeah, okay, yeah, I see you. What am I supposed to do? Slipped off the side of the ledge there, I think. I have no idea where I'm headed. I'm still alive. That's a good sign, I think. Oh! Okay. That was intense. I had no idea what the hell I was doing. Oh shit! Oh shit! No! <laughs> okay. Okay. We're back here. I think we can go back. <laughs> what? Did I imagine it all? Yeah, I think so. Just a little bit. Okay, so... Hold on. As we went up the road here, there was a... There was a structure. Oh wait, there's the car. Okay. What the hell? <laughs> My car, but how come it wasn't here before? Was everything even real? I don't understand what's happening to me. I must go back to Edgar's apartment and learn more about this strange artifact. Alright, we got about half an hour left of our live, everybody, but we'll get however far we can get in this game. We're on chapter four, back at Edgar's. The members of the order are everywhere, and now they know I'm in possession of the cube. I'm lucky to have found it before they did. From now on, I must be careful. These people are fanatical, and I mustn't allow them to catch me. I'm sure I'll find some more information in Edgar's apartment. I hope it's safe there. Back at your apartment. Let's walk around with a glowing orb back into his apartment. Before I start looking for clues in the apartment, I have to find a safe place to hide the cube. I mean, you could hide it in the garbage can. 
Not sure where you'd hide this thing. Anything safe out here? Maybe in someone else's apartment? Yeah, maybe I guess I can hide it out here. So we'll try inside his apartment. Honestly, I don't even know why you're holding on to this thing. Nope, I can't hide it inside the apartment. Okay. What the hell? I don't remember seeing that white painted thing there before. Alright, give me a place to hide the cube. Where are you going to let me hide the cube? Someone else's door? Oh, see, and that says door back here, so I almost feel like I should be able to hide the cube. This is not the right place. This is not the right place. Okay. Maybe. I thought maybe we could stick it inside the vending machine. Uh, one month after his, after he disappears. Oh wait, we can go upstairs now. We couldn't go upstairs before. It's whispering to me. It keeps whispering. Hide the cube. Hide the cube here until I do my research in Edgar's apartment. I might find the answers I've been looking for there. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Keep it with you because you need a nightlight down here. I can't see shit. What the hell? Lovely. How? How? I see doorknob. Okay. Can I head this way? Yeah, I can. No, jeez. <laughs> Assholes. <laughs> oh. Thanks for the jump scare, guys. I think this is obviously the room that we were in before that we got dragged into from his apartment. Why the door shut? I feel like crawling through the hole. statue earlier. Can't we use that? No, you're still not going to do it, huh? I wonder. Well, I think it takes both statues, honestly. Wait, there's light on here before. There wasn't light on before. I can feel something strange when I get near this mirror. Okay. I read his journal. What do we have in ours? Is there anything that we're missing here? This, ob this object is the same thing I saw in my dreams. How is that possible? Yeah, like I said, okay. I feel a strange and constant call from coming from it. It's like something inside it's calling me. And what really happened in that cave? I've never, I've never felt anything so intense in my whole life. I must have been out for many hours as it's already nighttime. I've also experienced strange visions which are getting worse. My God, am I going crazy? I have to find out more about this object. Okay. So nothing new about that. See there. Two horses, two stallions, and they are side they're facing each other. So I get the feeling that that is maybe it should be like this. And there should be another one here. And I found that statue out earlier. Why can't I use it? Find the right statuette. I found one. It was glowing green. No radio now. How could my uncle live in these conditions? So disgusting.
Are you kidding me? Gonna play that game. See there's something there I'm overlooking. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm glad you love them, Angel. <laughs> ah! There it is. Why why did it, I'm not even gonna ask. Not even gonna ask. Oh come on. Leave me alone. <laughs> creaky creaky. I thought it would open that. I'm not gonna open it yet. <laughs> All right. Did he have something in the journal? No. <clears throat> okay, they're definitely turned the right way. They aren't gonna move. What am I missing now? Go back to his bedroom. Nope. Are we sure I can't go in here? No. It triggered something. But what? I need some looking here. Oh, I don't want to go back through that way. What if I turn off the switch? Bang my head against the door. I don't know. Something ain't right. I know the horses are supposed to face each other. We figured that out. Maybe the painting in here? No. Uh, did the journal say anything? Nope. Told about where he was going. We figured that out from there. back to the other apartment real quick. Okay, so there's that statue spot. Okay, maybe maybe the Babylon tower painting, there's the mirror. And there's this hole or something up above. So let's head back and see if we see something. Ooh. Next to the toilet, we got something coming in the vent. I don't think he... No, see, there's like nothing inside of his room. And this room does not seem like it would match this place at all. Anyway. This guy's apartment, anyways. Would I do it in order? There's the Babylon Tower. Aha. Uh -huh. Is there something about this painting? Lower the painting. Ah, yeah, yeah, okay. I tried to do that earlier and it was stuck, that's right. More crazy sounds. Near 
both of them. Okay, lever. There's a lever here, no shit. Alright, we got the door open. I hear something eating something, it sounds like. <laughs> Such a false jump scare. He he jumped. I'm like, what was that? <laughs> I didn't see it. Show it to me again. Oh. Okay, rocks flying to the air. Oh, there's that gate we went through. Uncle, what kind of things have you been seeing, man? Page from Edgar's journal. What, uh, was that place really my father's secret hideout? It's difficult to believe, but everything suggests it was. I tried to bring as many things as I could with me to examine their, them here in my study. Many of his notes are written in a language that I don't know. However, this is his handwriting, I'm sure. Those bizarre photos did nothing more than lead me to ask more questions. Those landscapes are so surreal. And what the hell are those huge structures in the distance? It looks like my father was doing research into an ancient artifact and its connection to some mysterious places populated by some sort of horrible beings. But what does all this mean? What was he really working on? In the shed, there were some strange statuettes and old cassettes, too. I brought them here to study them. <gasps> Yeah, we hide. It's not like he undid his buckle when he got in there. I don't want to know why. safe to come out? I don't know. I suppose we'll get out anyways. Okay. We read the journal, right? There's nothing else to add to that. Okay, this is my footsteps. I was like, I heard footsteps, but what the hell? Alright, let me look at these photos down one more time. A path, and then that gate. Just in case I have to deal with that again. The issue was that there was supposed to be a hole above. Oh, what is that? That's kind of cool. I don't think the lamp lamps work that way, but okay. Ooh, pardon me. I've been trying to keep up with my hydration. Alright, wait. I think it was the mirror. Oh, wait. There. Was it this, then the mirror, or was it the mirror, then that? I thought it was this, then the mirror. Seems to have come out of the mirror. Alright, well, not quite the mirror yet. I don't really want to go up, but I don't think we have a choice. <clears throat> Interesting taste in artwork. Is that the green cube? I thought we left that downstairs. Anything back? What the fuck? No, but it's a green light. Could have closed the door behind us at least. Lock it. Page from Edgar's journal. This strange contraption is the most mysterious object that I took from my father's secret hideout. What's its function? It seems that it allows the creation of a small magnetic field, but something's missing, for sure. There was an ancient metal door near the hideout, but I wasn't able to open it. It may lead deep into the mountain, and what I need is probably right there. The whole area is full of tunnels and old galleries. People say that, the, uh, that in those mountains there's a huge web of underground passages that stretch for miles. But now, what, uh, but now that I think of it, the family cabin is not very far from that place. It's right at the top of that mountain. What if somehow everything's connected by the tunnels? Are there more of them around here? Around there? Uh, first of all, I should go to the cabin to check it out. I'll leave early in the morning. Yeah, there's that cabin. Hmm. 
Hmm, what strange machinery. What if I place the cube here? Yeah, yeah, I kind of figured that was where we headed with this. Go get the cube. The thing that your uncle didn't have. Hey, A OK, how you doing? Hope you're doing well. Man, I'm so glad I kind of cleaned up all the bots that review the reviewer bots. Uh, this way I can keep an idea of who's really joining the chat. Who's joining the stream. Let's go get that. Where's that cube? It's upstairs, I believe. About 10, 12 minutes to the end. And then we're going to call it a day and we'll be back tomorrow. Oh, come on. I've got the cube. Let me back in my own apartment. You guys are going to force me to go through that hole. I don't get it. You want me to do this. I know you do. Why are you forcing me to do it this way? I feel like I'm going through a diseased butthole every time I call through there. some salt. Oh, it goes on there. Okay. Turn it on. Who cares? Just <laughs> without knowing what it's really going to do. Yeah, no worries, Angel. Again. What's happening to me? You're messing with forces you know nothing about. Nothing good can come from it, though. Look at that. I think that'll slice and dice us, huh? What the hell is that? Uh, I don't want to be too close to that. I have to become part of the exhibit. Up or down? Up or down? Uh, we'll go up. First, anyways. Probably eventually I have to go down. Some kind of mechanism to open it. Okay. Is 
Anybody here seen Lovecraft Country? Alright, yeah, our only choice is to go down now. Can't go that way. Let's so we'll go this way and go down. Yep, it's saving. <laughs> can say what the what 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 the I'm just at a loss for words. Uh they look like roots going down into a body. The guy who made this game and his prequel to it, Land of Pain, has also made another game where he's working on a third third installment. Honestly, he's done a pretty damn good job. Now, I don't know if any of the stuff in here is like, you know, um, pre, like, uh, you know, fabricated. Like he picked it up from maybe like the Unreal Store or something. I don't know. Even if it is, he did. He made good choices with what he chose to put together. Grease stain. Somebody did. There's all this more. What if I try to stop these gears? Who knows? Let's try. Can't hurt nothing, right? Hey, those machines are huge. We could have built them. Those machines are huge. We could have built them. Yeah, exactly. Can you not pull the gears now? Seriously. How are you going to stop this? Can you throw your body into the gears to see if it'll stop it? Huh? Other set of doors. One bug says I die before I figure it out. <laughs> Five minutes. Five minutes to figure this out. Ooh, iron bar. All right, that should help stop that. What happens if I try to stop this? Oh, okay, someone's gonna explode. We need to get the hell out of here again. Run! Not in the mood to be there when things explode. Whoa! Shit, I don't know if I'm going the right way now. All I know is I'm freaked out and need to run as fast as I can. There's something behind us. Or it was. It stopped growling. Uh. Sanity, dude. Something's missing here. Alright, can we go back down? I want to piss something off. Ah, stop the blaze from going. I might be able to make it through here. Wow, what could be that big? Faceless. Oh god, what sort of creature is this? What were they doing to it? it looks like they're bleeding it out. I have to take that lever. Alright, yep, yep. Alright, got it. I know where we gotta go with that. Yeah, we're finally getting some good stuff. I'm going to get them live here in just a few minutes. <laughs> nah, that's alright. I feel like i got to go that way, but I guess before we do, we should go see what's over here real fast. Oh, there's a portal. A gate. I've seen that before. <clears throat> I thought we 
good. And we're not going to jump out into hell. Obviously something I do to get across. Start with this. Uh, I keep wanting to push control. So I don't know about his Land of Pain or his third installment game. I do hope, I am going to start doing reviews on his games and the guy's games, but I do hope that he uh, sets it up so that you can get around or you can change your bindings. He's using his bindings a little awkward at times. I'd like to go set my own bindings. Oh, shower time? I can tell it's like really hot water and you shut it off first. There's no kind of problems. Oh! Okay. Maybe we just gotta run past the water. I don't know. Or I just gotta jump down into this hole, but I don't think that's right either. That doesn't look right. Okay, let's try duck. Ow! Ow! I knew it was gonna hurt me. Uh, I thought maybe if I ducked, I'd get past it without being hit at all. Key. What the? <laughs> How is this possible? Where am I? What is the key for? Uh, duck. Ain't gonna matter. It's like when you doused in steaming hot water. Maybe this is where the keys for? Yeah. Yeah, let's go where it something ran by past the door so I can go. Alright, I'm just going long enough to hit her quick save. There's the quick save. Alright. Well. Shit. Let's answer the phone. <laughs> and then we'll call an end of the live today. It's Cthulhu himself. Um, I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't know where to go. <laughs> okay, so we're going to leave it there. I'll, forget, I'll think of this one tomorrow. But that was an interesting game so far. The Alien Cube. Uh, very Lovecraft team based. Much of uh, my favorite kind of games anyways. And we got tons of them. So I'm looking forward to getting through all these. I am going to be moving Outlast Trials to kind of like a one-day play to break things up, and we'll play that once a week. But um, because it is kind of monotonous, after a while of you know, just grinding through those maps to um, to uh, finish the quest in that, I am going to put that one more on the back burner. At least once a week we'll hit that up on more like Friday, Saturday kind of thing. <clears throat> in the meantime, I hope everyone stays safe, that you're blessed. And I will see you again here tomorrow morning. Take care.